Hello and welcome to this short video about transformation rule. I'm Stéphane Dedon, Wallix Presell Engineer. The topic of this video is to explain how to configure a login transformation rule in the Wallix Bastion. This rule permits to a primary user authenticated on the Bastion with low privileges to reuse his own credentials, password or SSH key, on a specific target with higher privileges. Administrators' permissions, for instance. First, check that you have already declared domains, targets, and users. Here, we have two primary users in two different groups. Linux user in the group local users, Wallex user in the group AD users. In our case, the user Wallex will access to a Windows server and Linux will access to an Ubuntu computer. So, to configure a login transformation rule, click on the session management menu. In the connection policies tab, create two new policies for RDP and SSH connections. Enter a name and configure this field according to your needs. Here, I put the suffix ADM after the primary login. It means that if the primary user Wallex is authenticated on the bastion, he could rebound to a target with the login Wallex ADM. It's important to note that the Bastion will reuse the same secret. See another example for a SSH policy. The second step consists to enable the account mapping feature in the appropriate target groups. To finish, configure the dedicated authorizations for each user. See the final result for each user group mentioned previously. Now, to test and illustrate this configuration, log in with the two primary users. Wallex in this case. As you can see, the user Wallex can rebound to, to the Windows server with the appropriate transformation rule. and see the example concerning the user Linux. To conclude, we saw during this video how to create a new session policy and how to configure a login transformation role. Thank you for watching this presentation.